Air fryer pork chops are what we're cooking up today. And if you've been looking for the juiciest air fryer pork chop recipe on the interwebs, you have come to the right place because as you can see, these pork chops are dripping with juice. Not to mention, they're just so flavorful. They've got this dry rub on them that is just, mm, it is chef's kiss good. And they're super quick and easy to make. All it takes about 15 minutes to make these pork chops in the air fryer. So with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff. Make some air fryer pork chops. All right, first things first, let's make the dry rub. So in a bowl, we're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic salt, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of sweetener to balance out all that salt, a half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, some freshly cracked black pepper, and a pinch of chili powder. Now. We're just gonna give that all a good mix until it combines. And then when it does, we're gonna set it aside and start prepping our pork chops. So to do that, the first thing you wanna do is pat dry the pork chops with a paper towel. And you wanna make sure you do this on both sides of your chops. Then after we've done that, we're gonna coat our pork chops with some olive oil and rub that into them. Then after we've taken care of that, we can start applying our dry rub to our pork chops. So as you're seeing here, I wanna evenly distribute that between both of our chops. Now, after we've got those well coated in the dry rub, last thing I'm gonna do is get my meat thermometer in one of those pork chops and then get it set up to cook to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I already know I'm gonna get some questions about my meat thermometer. I'm using the Bluetooth meter meat thermometer. I actually bought this for myself as a Christmas present. And honestly, it's probably the best gift that I got all year. It tells you the cook temp of your meat the entire time that it's cooking. So it's like literally impossible to screw up cooking meat with this thing. It's really, really great. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. Anyway, at this point, we can get our pork chops in the air fryer and cook them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around 12 minutes. We will want to flip them though around the halfway mark just so that we can get some even cooking on both sides of the chops. But with that said, once the pork chops reach an internal temp of 140, we're gonna pull them from the air fryer and let them rest up to 145, just to ensure they turn out super juicy like this. And check this out. I took a bite out of one of these just to give you the full drip test experience, and I'm pretty sure these passed the test. Anyway, as always guys, I hope you enjoy this air fryer pork chop recipe. As always, for more info on it, check out the video description below, and I will see you in the next one.